out there since 2003. So it's not entirely outside the realm of possibility. So I can kind of see why this has taken some of the fun out of collecting for some people in the space. But if there's anything I've learned over the last couple of years, it's that people will engage in this hobby and collect in totally different ways. Something that seems super weird for you is normal to somebody else. And at the end of the day, this is just an evolution. Like I said, it's a mutation of something that we've gotten comfortable with. And whether you stand to lose money or gain money from this, I think we can all agree. It's fucking cool, man. No! No, no, it's actually not cool at all. In fact, anyone who has worked in the medical field over the last 20 years or visited an emergency room in a first world country could probably assume that you could do this to a pack of Pokemon cards or maybe even a booster box of Pokemon cards or sports cards for 20 years. No, it is not cool. And how do I know it's not cool? Because if it was cool, somebody would have started doing it 10 years ago, 15 years ago, five years ago, two years ago, one year ago. But everyone with half a brain cell in their head can understand that scanning a product that inherently has to do with odds, chase, going for that chase card, you know, in sports cards, one in 20, one in 50, one in 100. It is clearly nefarious to all of a sudden introduce a way to see through that barrier, thus killing the odds. The entire theory, the entire point of a pack of Pokemon cards, a, a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh, magic, sports cards, odds, the ability to buy the same product over and over and over and over again is because you are chasing something that you have a chance of pulling. It has been possible to scan a pack of Pokemon cards for 20 years. The reason you are just now hearing about it is because the repercussions are extremely nefarious. The chances of things going wrong, things not ending well for the community, for the hobby, is abundant, it is clear, it is obvious. Supporting this, thinking it's cool, neato, is bullshit. If it was such a cool concept and it was so decent and, and, and just all well and dandy, it would have already been happening. The reason it is just now coming to light is essentially on accident. And in today's videos, guys, I'm going to do my best to give you a loose timeline of how things have gone with this x-ray CT scanning of Pokemon packs over the last month because things have escalated very quickly and it all started with an Instagram reel on June 24th and yes I do have some things that I would like to say about J-Love I think he is he's trying to have his cake and eat it too he's trying to speak positively have an open dialogue of communication with this company and then say oh it's not for me to decide if it's good or bad I just think it's cool well, guess what? You're a human being, too. You can have an opinion, just like I have an opinion, just like Rattle has an opinion, just like Opossum has an opinion, just like Rob Does Pokemon has an opinion. There is a very good reason we all hate this, okay? There's a very good reason you're alone on an island by yourself and trying to say, don't get mad at me, it's not for me to decide, all the while emailing and messaging the people who are running this bullshit $75 service on a daily basis. We'll get to that. I have watched both of J Love's newest videos and a large majority of his two and a half hour live stream. And if I'm going to speak on another content creator, I want to make damn sure I know where they're coming from before I put words in their mouth. So we'll get to that. But how have things developed? so rapidly over the last month i'm going to show you guys june 24th june 26th july 16th july 20th and july 26th those are five key dates in which things have evolved rapidly on the topic of x-raying pokemon packs 
All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with the Instagram reel, which was on June 24th. So, D-T-A-O-O-O-O-O-O on Instagram posted this video showing essentially, this isn't the first time ever this has been documented. Apparently, a video or two showed up a year ago that just didn't gain any traction of this process, but this guy, post this video on Instagram of a Panini basketball, very expensive case, I guess it's worth $25,000, and there's some uh, Logo Man jersey cards in here that are worth like $50,000, $100,000, I don't know, but he posts this very, uh, so this guy right here, with only a 1,000 followers, he's not English speaking, I think this is translated, but posts this, with this video showing essentially, at least for the first time this year, this happening and now this is where things start to move okay this was on june 24th guys two days later industrial inspection and consulting llc a company that scans stuff for other companies construction companies and whatnot they have not not spiders okay i'm just I, we're on here so i can show you the case studies tab so you can see the date so July, 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 right here, June 26th, two days after this D, D Tao guy, two days later, they post this in their case studies. Now you can Pikachu cards without opening the box. That was two days later, okay? Nothing about making money, nothing about a service, just a simple case study showing that they can do it too and they can do it better two days after the DTA the OOO guy. Now, Aaron Wayne, this is a name, this video, when it comes to Pokemon TCG content, I think, not infamous, I think famous, I think this video is going to go down as, yeah, one of the most infamous or famous videos in Pokemon TCG content history. This guy, Aaron Wayne's strange brain, Aaron Wayne. This dude is a freaking genius. This guy, Tony Stark in a cave, essentially. A $1,500 CT scanner to do what most people didn't even know you could do, apparently. And Aaron Wayne, on July 16th, three weeks after that case study, he basically reveals to the world on YouTube that he figured out how to do this for $1,500 and a whole bunch of hard work and engineering skills. Okay. Hello and welcome back to Wayne's Strange Brain. This is probably just going to be uh, 10 minutes of me rambling. I strongly encourage you guys to watch this video. I'm going to link it in the description of my video below. It is a fascinating 13 minute video with 90,000 views. And this is not the guy who has monetized things. Okay. This is not the guy who J Love is talking to on a daily basis. All right. But this guy's video is where things started to take off. This is where Rattle, this is where j -Love, this is where all types of content creators started making videos about this. Once this guy made this video, not the case study, not the Instagram reel, not one or two videos from last year that no one knows about. It was this guy, Aaron Wayne, okay? And to be honest, so I want to I wanna talk about Aaron... Aaron Wayne for a second. So this guy, Aaron Wayne, he knew how dangerous this information could be in the wrong hands. This guy kept the entire time he was working on this for months, didn't tell anyone on the internet, just him and his buddies working on this, that's it. And he has a patent pending that is currently apparently in the works because he knew that if this information got out, it could spread like wildfire and the most nefarious things could happen with this technology and the notion that this could totally destroy sealed collecting. That is something that I believe was on the forefront of his mind and it is clear as day if you watch his 13 minute video. This guy knew that he discovered something like Oppenheimer, potentially horrible, and he did not want 
to make this video he wanted kept he absolutely wanted to keep it a secret and he wanted to get a patent to make sure no other people could misuse this technology and this process so i truly believe you should check out aaron wayne's video and this guy has done nothing wrong throughout any of this he simply came forward with the information he had what he had been working on since other people had already brought it to light case of point industrial inspection llc so now four days after aaron wayne's video rattle pokemon is contacted by industrial inspection llc i assume he reached out to them first and they wrote him back but on july 20th they write to rattle pokemon this couple uh sentences here basically just saying we'd be happy to collaborate with you and that we did not release this to profit off card readings this is not our expertise we do industrial work that our equipment is designed for we did this just because it was an interesting case study the hourly rates to run the equipment wouldn't be worth someone scanning their packs even if we found a very rare card so on July 20th, this company is making it very obvious that they have no intentions to profit off this, this ability, essentially, whatsoever. Okay? Six days later. What is this? Six days later on July 26th. The same company that told Rattle six days before that they have no plans whatsoever on monetizing. Basically, all you need is 75 bucks for a pack. And my God, guys, the literature contained in this website, on this page, from not GI Joe cards, Logan Paul, just call us next time, to we are actively looking for J-Love to join us. Um, the the amount of just strange, unprofessional literature, th this company has no idea what they're doing. Um, props to them for throwing, adding this page to their already, you know, website. But they are getting into just some serious hot water. <laughs> okay, so that's where we are now. We went from essentially a month ago, we had an Instagram reel. And then two days later, we had this industrial inspection case study. And then three weeks later, we had Aaron, Wayne, and then four days later, Rattle Pokemon showing industrial, clearly saying they are not going to monetize this in any way. Six days later, here we are. This is the new reality. You can now pay $75 to have your Evolving Skies or your first edition base set pack scanned. And yeah, so... First of all, my opinion on this is if it wasn't already obvious, this is terrible. This defies the entire nature of Pokemon card or any TCG collecting. The, the whole reason the Pokemon IP is the biggest IP in the world, you know, it's four different moving parts, but the Pokemon TCG part of Pokemon Company International is massive. And the reason it's massive is because of the chase, the chance, the odds, the whole inherent nature of card collecting in general. And when you do this, you jeopardize literally all of that. You think the Pokemon company cared about Pal World? No. This is what the Pokemon company cares about. Destroying the entire nature that is the reason you open up a pack of Pokemon cards. It is not good. It is not cool. It is not interesting. J Love, I think you should turn around and run. I think you should stop emailing these people. I think you should stop giving them advice and, and helpful hints. And I think you should take probably a more realistic stance, which is not immediately accept this is the new reality and this is the way it is and we all have to accept it. No. What if Aaron Wayne actually wins his patent, okay? What if Aaron the guy who built it in a cave essentially what if he does get the patent then what where where do things stand legally at that point okay 
then then what's the call now only one person gets to do it or is it better if it's the wild wild west and literally everyone gets to do it because just because you are hooked up with this company giving them good advice well six months from now when there's 10 companies doing it how can you ensure your viewers that the other nine companies aren't going to be nefarious and switch out your box or your pack you know the ones that are only doing it for forty dollars you know you get what you pay for whoops this is bad this is terrible Love, it's a terrible look stop just stop dude just stop this is not good for the hobby it is not too late there are things we can do there are things we can say we cannot all just just fold over backwards and assume this is the new norm not at all okay it is obvious that this has been going on probably for a while to an exceptionally small degree but if it was good for the hobby it would have been a legitimate thing a long long time ago because it has been possible for a very long time so my official stance again is this is terrible this defies the nature of tcg collecting in general this is bad for sports this is bad for all tcgs and it is just obviously not fun and not cool all right guys that's all i got i'll be back tomorrow with uh this week's hottest pokemon cards and until uh next time like comment subscribe deuces